So I'm not going to lie to y'all. Probably, I would say for the past two years, I've been really sucked into the whole manosphere. So pretty much Andrew Tate, all these other uh, male influencers that talk about masculinity and all of these things, right? And I'm not going to completely shit on them because a lot of them do have good messages, but a lot of them also have pretty bad messages, pretty negative messages that have pretty much fucked me up. And one of these messages is telling men to not express your emotions, to kind of just bottle it all up. Because at the end of the day, people don't give a fuck. People don't care. So that's kind of what I started to do. I started to really bottle up a lot of the emotions that I was dealing with. And let me tell you, man, it, it's a fucking recipe for disaster. And because of this, I started to develop this massive problem of just not being able to communicate properly with my friends and family, with whatever was going on inside of me. And I still struggle with this to this day. So if there's something that's going on that's just making me pissed off, I have a problem with just talking to my family about it. So something with my family is they can kind of tell if something is really bothering me, if I'm stressed or whatever. And I'm just not really able to communicate it properly. And we end up just fighting and all of that. Same with my friends as well. My friends could tell like, oh, Danny, like, are you okay? And I just have problems with just reaching out to my friends and just telling them like, no, like I'm not okay. There, there are things that are going on in my life right now that are really fucking me up. So three weeks ago, I was dealing with a high amount of anxiety. So I had a lot of things going on. I had school, I had work, um, you know, I had martial arts, I had a whole bunch of things really going on all at once. And this started to really create a lot of anxiety for me. And I was really at that point, man, of fucking breaking down. Like, I could not fucking take it anymore. Like, my sleep quality started to become poor. I just was not, like, my sleep quality was poor. Like, my sleep quality was poor. I couldn't focus on any work at all. I was just dealing with so much anxiety and I couldn't take it anymore. So what I did was I ended up talking to one of my close friends about it. And oh my God, bro. Once I told him what was just going on and just was just completely honest with him, with what's going on in my life, I just started to feel so much fucking better. I was able to really just relieve a lot of inner problems that were going on inside of me. Really just told him about it. And he was very uh, supportive. He was really trying to give me good advice. And yeah, he gave me some really good advice to really just help me out with what I was dealing with. And all of a sudden, it was as if like, you know how you do planks sometimes? You have those weights on your back. It was as if like I finally was able to take off that weight and I just felt so fucking good after man and I don't give a fuck what anyone says I don't care what Andrew Tate or whatever masculine figure says who gives a shit yo like if you're dealing with a lot of things if there are things that are going on man bro don't bottle it in if you bottle it in it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse until you do something heinous like you end up committing some sort of crime no Go to your friends, go to your family and talk to them. Tell them like, yo, I'm not feeling good. Like, I I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling okay. People do care. People genuinely do care. Yes, if you're constantly complaining and you're like, oh, like I hate life. Uh, of course, yes, people are going to care. But if there's something that's going on, okay, and you just need to talk to someone, bro, just talk to someone. Like, express your feelings. Express what is going on inside of you. Don't be afraid to just not tell people what's going on. If you're not feeling good, tell people. Like, yo, I'm not feeling good. I need some fucking help. Because bottling it up, it's just going to make your life worse and worse and worse. You're not going to be able to take it anymore. How can you live with so much fucking stress and anxiety built up inside of you? You can't. So just tell, you know, your close ones what's going on. But yeah, I think this was just really important to talk about because we've been taught for the past two years online that you shouldn't express your feelings, your emotions or whatever's going on. And I think it's bullshit because 
if you don't express like how you're feeling, you, you know, it's, it's not, things are not going to get better. You need to sometimes tell people that you don't feel good, that you don't feel right. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe and remember my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.